Yo, what's going on? What's happening? I was taught when dealing with human beings to have low expectations. To expect nothing but less when it comes to human beings. Not more, less. And if you're going to be a fan, fan, short for fanatic of anyone, you should be a fan of yourself. So when I heard that Puff Daddy had got arrested and he was charged with, you know, those federal charges and can't even post, you know, any bail. It didn't shock me. First and foremost, I'm not a fan of his work. Maybe, just maybe, you know, I, I liked some of his artists that he signed, like Biggie Smalls. But I wasn't a fan of his work. I already knew the type of person he was back in the 90s when he said, don't worry if I write rhymes, I write checks. I knew what time he was on. I knew he wasn't about the culture. I knew he was about making money. I mean, he had a song. It's all about the Benjamins, baby. It's all about the Benjamins, baby. It's all about the Benjamins, baby. But actions speak louder than words. It wasn't just that song. It was just his whole persona. That's how he came out with the bling bling, gl glitter, you know, shiny suits and all the rest of that. So it didn't shock me because of the fact that, hey, I, I, expect, I expect nothing less. My expectations when it comes to human beings is low, not high. And that celebrities are human beings. They make mistakes and a lot of them intentionally make mistakes. They know what they're doing and they know what they're doing is wrong, but they yet and still, they still make them. They still make these, these mistakes or de decisions that at the end of the day, you got to live with. You got to deal with it. We as regular common folks, we have to deal with our consequences. Take for example, if I don't pay the light bill, guess what happens? The lights get shut off. I'm not exempt and neither is Puff Daddy or anyone at that. I heard that he was uh he he had offered them fifty million dollars to, to get bailed out. He was putting up fifty million dollars. And they said, nah, 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 nah. We ain't gonna do that. But it's crazy to me, you know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes I I think a little bit, you know what I mean? Like, even though my expectations are extremely low for human beings, it's, sometimes I just be like, yo, man, you know. Man, like, like, you had everything. Real talk. You had everything. Like, could you imagine being in the situation that Puff Daddy was in financially? And see, this is the problem. You can't be in that situation. You couldn't be in that situation because it takes a particular type of person it takes a pup daddy in order to be in pup daddy situation financially like I, 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 I envision that sometimes like man if I was in pup daddy situation I would have helped people I wouldn't have hurt people I wouldn't have done this and I wouldn't have done that and I would have did this and that and so forth man the good people that want to do good things for individuals never get to that that top. That's what I'm trying to explain to you. You don't get to that point where Sean Puffy Combs was at 
unless you fuck people over. Real shit. Those people that they said they that that that's that's on tape, like you know, the, the the rumor is there's other people on tape, and you know, the whole entertainment industry is going down because names are gonna get popped up and this and that and so forth, and blah 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 blah. It don't shock me. It wouldn't shock me. If, as an example, if uh Jay-Z was in, on one of the videos, it wouldn't shock me. At all. Like money is not the root of all evil. People are. Money don't turn people evil. People are already evil off the rip. That's real talk. What money does, it is it enhances who and what you are. So, like, say for example, if if you are alcoholic, well, money gives you access to drink, to drinking every and all day. It just enhances it. But beforehand, before you had money, you were alcoholic. So, Pop Daddy was is who and what he was prior to the money. You have to be a particular type of person in order to be in the entertainment industry is what I'm saying to you. Man, I used to be a fan of, you know, Buster. Buster Rhymes and, you know, word around the street, he a little fancy too. But that's hearsay. We... There's no facts behind it, but but if, if we found out he, he was that way for real, at the end of the day, it wouldn't bother me. Because my expectations for human beings are down to the ground. I don't expect nothing but less when it comes to human beings. Straight up. And then you know what's so funny? People think that, oh man, this is this is this something new. This ain't nothing new. Like before Puffy, there was Quincy Jones. <laughs> and before Quincy Jones, it was someone else. And before that, it was someone else. This is a culture thing. This is a cultural thing. All you dudes out there, drunk, hip, hey, hip, hip, all that shit. Stomping and shit, you know what I'm saying? On the yard, talking about I'm a Greek. Ah. <laughs> All y'all going around, black folks that is talking about when in Rome, do what the Romans do, not knowing. And some of you all do, some of you do know, but I, I'm pretty sure that a lot of you all don't know that the Greeks and the Romans were the, the hierarchies, they were pederasts. They had a liking to little boys. And they also had male sex partners. They got a picture which is disgusting of how the Greeks would have black men like slaves. In the um, steam rooms, serving them, bending over, and all of that shit. A picture of it, like a, 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 a drawing. This is a culture. So nothing shocks or amazes me. For real, this is just a modernized version of, of, of Greek, Greece and Rome. That's all it is. And Puffy is just doing what he's supposed to do. Win in Rome, do what the Romans do. That's all he was doing. Straight up. 
That's real. I mean, the Greeks and Romans had no shame in their game. None. They got bust like statues and stuff like that with them drawing themselves on man and 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 and, and go I'm taking it there. You know what I'm saying? Ant bestiality, all of that. What are we gonna get that we living in a foul ass country, yo? Your expectations for humans are too high. Real shit. We got the nerve to talk about the LGBTQIA community. Excuse me. At least they're out of the closet. I don't agree with their their stuff. I don't agree with it. But at least they put themselves out there and let everybody know, hey, this is who I am. Like me or not. Straight up. They got the theme music, Diana Ross. I'm coming now. I want the world to know who I got the latest show. I'm coming. At least they being real with themselves. We got a lot of men that are, that, that are not out of the closet. Just because you have a wife, just because you have children, don't mean that you ain't on a DL. That don't mean shit. That's real shit. But at the end of the day, if you minding your business and doing what you do inside your house, and you're not imprisoning anyone, you're not forcing anyone to do A, B, and C or whatever, that's your business. The only reason why Puff Daddy is getting hemmed up is because it's sex trafficking and prostitution, all of that shit, illegal shit is involved. Other than that, if the man want to have a freak off and everyone that's having a freak off with him is at the legal age, let him do his thing. A thousand, <laughs> a thousand bottles of baby oils and all. Straight up. We already knew though. That's real talk. We already knew the type of dude he was. Like seriously, does it shock you? Is it shocking? Is it really that shocking? Or is it that you like you on my side? And what I mean by being on my side is, man, you can't expect but nothing less from people, human beings. That's real shit. The only reason why I'm talking about Puffy, because listen, this is my word. I was taught as a man not to talk about another man's money. And definitely, if you ain't him downstairs, if you ain't going that way, you shouldn't be mentioning about what another man do in his bed. The only re reason why I'm talking about this shit is, a, is because it's a teaching moment. I don't want to say teaching moment because I'm not a teacher. I'm just saying like, it's a, I guess it's a learning moment. I don't want to say teacher. I just want to be like, yo, it's, 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 it's a moment that we need to just rethink. We need to rethink these these things through. Like, why is it that we need to know what the hell Pup Daddy doing? Because while, while Pup Daddy is doing what, 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 what he's doing, and we're gossiping, and we're looking this way, and yeah, man, Pup Daddy, and blah, 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 blah. It's no telling what the hell the powers that be, companies and corporations are doing uh, to, to that, that's against us. There's no telling with 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 with, with the government, huh? The government, whether they they you know they taking our, our, our money, our tax money, uh, or, or whether they taking away our rights. There's no telling. While we sitting there, yeah, you know, with Puff Daddy and some some of them, the government is like, oh yeah, man, we got we got the opportunity to take this and yeah, we can we can create this law right here that'll keep their asses in the house forever. 
No telling. Because everyone, everyone is, is, is looking that way. Yeah, that way. Straight up. Celebrities, the entertainment industry overall, are there to <laughs> preoccupy your mind. That's all they're there. there. That's all they're there for. Why do you think they call celebrity stars and mega stars and superstars? What do stars do? They shine. When you look at a star, rather a sun, for a long period of time, you you I'm not well, it just depends on you know, I, I I sun gaze, but you can't stare at the sun but so long. I don't truly believe that you'll go blind, but it does get to the point where your 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 eyes it you you I'm not gonna say you go blind, but your, your eyes got to And long periods of time, you can't really like see like that. So stars give off the impression that they shine so bright till it's blinding you. It's, it blinds you momentarily. Well, while you're being blinded, you can't see what else is going on. That's what a star is here for. That's what a superstar is there for. And a megastar, someone like Beyonce, she shines her light. She blinds everyone. She, she, she blinds in, in millions of people. Whenever she comes out, whenever she talks, she influences people. Straight up. So while we sitting there talking about Puff Daddy, there's no telling what the government is doing behind our backs. No telling. And then another thing too is this. You think he the only one? Do you think, you think he the only one? Man, life, I'm here to tell you, man, life ain't shit. That's real shit. Life ain't shit. You want to know why I'm telling you that? It's because all it is is the same shit. One generation dies. The next generation comes behind that generation that dies. And that generation that comes behind the generation that died, died out. They think they, they, they're going to be the change of tomorrow. And they, what do they do? They fall right into the same footsteps of the generation that came prior to them. In other words, what I'm saying is every generation got crackheads, drug users and abusers, murderers, killers, crooks, thieves, politicians, freaky people, molesters, or piss, you know, I don't want to say that word. Every generation, all we do is we just fill in the next man's shoes. So once this, let's say, for example, this killer dies out, there's going to be another one that comes right behind him and fills his shoes. And it just keeps on going on and on and on and on and on and on. This type of behavior is nothing new. This type of behavior that Puff Daddy is, is displaying. It's nothing new. Hell, he said, I, I, I'll give you 50 million for me to get out and I won't be around any woman. Well, that's easy for him, especially if he go both, if he bisexual, you could be around men then. <laughs> The so-called cycle of life can, will never be broken, especially if we continue to do the same thing over and over again. Nothing's ever going to change. You think politicians are fucked up? These politicians right here are fucked up? Well, wait until you see the next batch that comes behind them. 
Straight up. You know, motherfuckers, I, yo, let, let me tell you something. When people call me old head and all, all the rest of that shit, you know, I don't even take that shit. I, I don't even, I don't, I'm not even offended by that shit anymore. You want to know why? Because at the end of the day, it's like, you do realize that your ultimate goal is be to become an old head, don't you? Oh, you don't, because you, you young and naive. That must be nice. Good luck trying to make it to my age. Straight up, I, you call me old head, I, I, I laugh nowadays. Cause see, the thing of it is, is yeah, shit, it be the same shit every generation after generation after generation. But I can tell you this, I've had a taste of a little bit of life. Like in the 90s, it was, it's a little bit different. This generation to be young and to go through what y'all are going through, it sucks. Straight up. That's real shit. When I was in the 90s and I was a young man, apartments were affordable. I'm gonna keep it real. Women walked around with fat asses and big tits and they were real. You can find you a decent girl. There wasn't no whole culture. The hoes were frowned upon. You know where you could go to get some easy pussy. But the whole the whole culture, there wasn't one. And nobody, nobody was was women didn't promote that shit. We had TV shows like a different world that encouraged you to go to school. Encourage you to, 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 to further your education. I was one of them. You know how many motherfucking homecomings I've been to? You know how many people that I hung around that was genuinely on some cool shit? I ain't have to worry about getting my head fucking blown off. Real shit. You know how many cookouts and pool parties and, and all the types of shit that I've been to? I'm not saying the 90s was perfect. No, it wasn't. Far from that. But at least I lived my life. So I don't mind a motherfucker call me old head. So I tell you, try to get out on your own now. One part, one bedroom apartment living in a decent fucking area costs you $2,000 a, a, a month. And some may say, man, this may be clickbait because, yeah, he talked about Puff Daddy, but now he on some other shit. Now I'm on some right shit. Because at the end of the day, what the fuck good is it going to do if you know anything about Puff Daddy and, you know, his whole, you know, what he's going through? He ain't concerned about you. And once everything is said and done and, you know, they have court and he was he's proven guilty or innocent or whatever. It'll be yesterday's news. It'll be old news. And if he's proven to be innocent, guess what? Everybody gonna forget about all of that shit that he did. If he's proven to be guilty, then everybody gonna be like, damn, that's fucked up. You know, niggas start talking about a couple, you know, talk about the shit for a couple weeks. At the break room with some shit, niggas up, smoke sessions. And, <laughs> I always knew Puff Daddy. You know what I'm saying? At the beauty salon, girl. <laughs> I always knew Puff Daddy at the barbershop. <clears throat> yeah, Puff Daddy. <clears throat> Couple weeks. That should be old news. Niggas would not be talking about that shit at the barbershop, the beauty salon. The blogs will stop mentioning him. Stephen A. Smith won't be. Will move. Will move on. Like, come on. But I tell you what will be continually going like a fucking gerbil wheel. So-called cycle of life. The bills ain't gonna stop. The murders ain't gonna stop. The killings ain't gonna stop. The drugs ain't gonna stop. Hyperinflation ain't gonna stop. The politicians lying to you ain't gonna stop. That's what the fuck we need to really be on. 
Not a motherfucker that we knew was guilty in the very beginning. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? From the very beginning. It, I thought I told you that we won't stop. I thought I told you we don't stop. <laughs> this nigga said he a bad boy. Fuck out of here, man. What shit? We need to definitely get our life together. Fuck what he got going on. That's real shit. We got a lot of motherfucking things that we need to talk about. And one of those things that we need to talk about, two, three, or four, or five of the things that we need to talk about, ain't got shit to do with that nigga called Puff Daddy. That's real shit. That's real shit. Other than that, I'm out.